Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike with On The Water Innovations. Uh, today we're going to be doing a quick little video on how to maintain your trailer, um, changing the grease into grease bolts and also on your hub. Um, and we'll explain the tools, how to be safe about it, how to go through the process. Basically, you're going to be wanting to do this about every 10,000 miles um, to maintain your trailer so you're safe on the road. Um, but we'll get right into it and uh, be sure to comment in the video and tell us if you've got any insight. Uh, give us a heads up on other things you'd like to see. Alright, so uh, here we got our tools that we're going to be using today. Uh, something to jack up the trailer. We're going to need a grease gun, uh, some all-purpose lithium grease, a flathead, a uh, jack stand for safety, and something to get your lug nuts off. Uh, we've got an air tool here, but if you don't have that, maybe you have a four-way lug wrench at the house or something like that. Um, but that's basically what you'll be needing. All right, guys, so first off, you want to get the, uh, the trailer up on a uh, jack. So you want to bring it over. Uh, we usually go right up in there close to the axle. And you just want to bring it on up. You just need to get it off of the ground so that you can spin the tire. It doesn't have to be very high. All right, next, guys, you want to grab the uh, jack just for safety. You want to make sure you keep it under the trailer. We might need, we're going to need to jack it up just a hair. Get that jack stand up under there. Get it as close as possible. It's fine. It doesn't even have to be pressed up against it, but just a backup so that uh, if the trailer does have any issues with the jack, you do have backup to be safe about it. All right, uh, next up, you're going to want to grab whatever you have to take off your lug nuts. Fortunately, we have an uh, air gun today, but if you don't, um, one of those four-way crossbars would work out good. You want to go ahead and get all the top, all the lug nuts off. And then you just pull the tire off. Uh, basically, you've got this cap covering here. So you can do two things. You can use the flathead tip and you can uh, pry this off and get into there. But what you have behind here is uh, another little cap that you're gonna have to take this off. The grease is gonna be coming out of here. So if you wanna keep it from the inside of your cap getting dirty, uh, you can just take the tire off, but you can actually access this. I'll show you guys real quick. That here. So with the uh, flat tip, you want to make sure you got a nice, nice thin flat tip uh, so you don't damage the cap. You want to get up in there behind it and you just pop this guy off and you'll actually be able to access the fitting in here. Um, but if you don't want to get the inside of your cap covered in grease, you can just take the tire off. Uh, I think it's going to be a little easier that way, um, a little easier to clean up and stuff. So that's basically what we're going to be doing today take off the tire and just make sure you can access here all right so next step um, we're gonna have to have a grease gun uh, and then we use all-purpose grease uh, this one's by grease master it's an all-purpose lithium grease um, we've already got a tube in here but you're gonna want one of these uh, I think I haven't fully done the uh, how much grease it takes but I would maybe grab two cans if you're gonna do the full uh, axle replacement of the grease after 10,000 miles. Um, but the grease bolts, they only take like two pumps. The, um, whenever you're doing the hubs, you're actually gonna have to fill the grease all the way through until the old grease comes completely out. So I would go ahead and maybe even get a backup one uh, so that you don't run out of grease while you're mid project. All right guys, uh, so the next step, um, we're gonna use the flathead. We're gonna, it's, it's a little rubber fitting, but it's really easy uh, to pop off. Just kind of push in there, get this thing out. It's just kind of, uh, it's got a little lip on it. So you want to get off, get that off so that you can access the Zerks fitting in here. Um, and then next step, you're going to get, grab the grease gun. Uh, you can see on the grease gun, we actually have, a, this one pushes and it opens up a little bit. So you're going to want to just clip it onto the, onto the Zerks fitting there. Make sure it's nice and snug. And then as you're doing this, Basically what you're going to do, we're not going to do the whole uh, grease all the way out. I just wanted to kind of show you guys how it works. Um, this is a brand new axle so it doesn't need the grease. 
but basically while you're pumping this you're actually going to want to kind of rotate that you might want to get somebody to help you out to spin while you're pumping and then you're just going to keep going and i'll show you how what it looks like so you keep going the grease is actually going to fill in from the back and then it's going to start to come out right at the front uh, it's taking quite a few pumps so you can see right there the grease is actually going to start to come out of the front you're going to want to push the old grease out all the way let it fall out and then basically once you see the new grease start to push out go ahead and take off your uh, grease gun and then you're going to want to use uh, some paper towels we forgot to put that in the tools but you'll just come in with paper towels go ahead and clean around the fitting to where that cap's going to go and that way it's not a big mess for you and then just come through get that cap find that little lip and pop it all back in there and that, that's it's pretty simple just make sure that you're spinning uh you're spinning this part here whenever you're actually uh, greasing it so that way it works into the bearing a little bit better um, and you want to go all the way until the old grease pushes out and you start to see new grease all right uh, next step we already got the grease done there uh, the grease bolts can be done while the uh, while the trailer is down on the ground so we're gonna go ahead and put the tire back on if I can figure out where the uh, lug posts are there you go and then you just want to go ahead and get all your lug nuts on I like to uh, hand tighten them on and then uh, spin the rim basically it helps you center it up I'll kind of show you that process and then we'll talk about the pattern for uh, tightening these up so if you just want to go through go ahead and get them all hand tight down that'll actually there's cones on the end of these lug nuts that'll center everything up a little bit better so that you don't have anything uh, cross threaded or uh, not mounted up right so that because your rim will cause some issues if you don't line up your wheels right all right so basically yep just go through there um, and then once we're going to tighten it down next um, but when you tighten it down you want to make sure you go in a star pattern so you go from this one you go across and then back across up over this way and then down over here you want to make sure you maintain that star pattern so that way you're evenly tightening it down okay uh, one little thing I wanted to point out we went ahead and put the steel wheel on here if you do have our steel wheel options um, basically the cap will not be here you'll have instant access right to the rubber fitting uh, so same process you just want to go ahead and pop that rubber fitting off you'll already have access you can spin the tire from here and you won't get the cap or anything like that dirty so steel wheels are probably a little bit easier but um, just wanted to throw that in there so if you have that option uh, you have instant access I probably shouldn't have to say but go ahead and make sure that your jack stand is out of the way um, once you got your tire mounted down everything's mounted up good go over to the jack lower it down a little slow get it on the ground and you're done with the, uh, the hub greasing and then um, next up we're gonna actually we're gonna be doing the grease bolts on both sides um, and we'll get you a little bit of a close-up on that so that you can kind of see this parts pretty easy um, but yep, basically on, the, on this next part, you're just gonna need your grease gun. We got our grease gun here. Um, on both sides of the axle, you're gonna see our leaf spring setup. You've got six grease bolts, three on each side. One, two, and then the third one's actually on the front up here. Uh, these are also Zerx fittings. You wanna go ahead and grab your grease gun. We actually haven't greased these yet, so it's kinda nice. Um, I'll knock out two birds, one stone. But this one, super easy, two pumps. You can see how the grease is already pushing out of it. Um, once you hit 10,000 miles, you just wanna replace the grease that's in here. Go ahead and hop on to the next one. Make sure these are locked in. And then same thing, one, two, and it's just gonna fill in that grease around the, around the bolt so that it, it takes away a lot of the uh, squeak from your leaf springs. Makes the ride a lot smoother. But you wanna go ahead and do all three, two pumps, and then go ahead and switch to the other side. 
And basically on this side, you just want to repeat the same process. Uh, two bolts here, one bolt here, two pumps for each bolt, and just go ahead and do that grease, okay? Let me go ahead and grease it for you. Am I still supposed to be recording? Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys? My name is Chase. I'm the new guy here. I have no idea what I'm doing. Not the best cameraman, but you get what you get. Guys, uh, so I hope that helps out. Um, basically, how to grease your hubs, how to grease your bolts. Um, you want to do this, like I said, about every 10,000 miles. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment. Um, you know, if you if you think you need some help on that. Or even give us a call and we'll try and help out where we can. We appreciate you guys watching the video today. And we'll hopefully soon we'll be providing more videos like this. If you have any ideas on videos you'd like to see on how to do things certain with our trailer with options. We're going to be posting some new ones soon. Um, but just keep an eye out for those and thanks for watching.